Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Pittsburgh on this Friday, April 30th, 2021. What a gorgeous day out there and a uh, spectacular weekend on the way uh, as we welcome you into Talking Pittsburgh here on a Friday night. Uh, hope you had a great, uh, great day, great week, and uh, ready for those warm temperatures uh, coming up this weekend. Might even uh, touch 80 again uh, tomorrow. A little breezy, though. It's been breezy. And I don't know, depending where you were yesterday when that rain and stuff came through, we took a bike ride uh, last night before the rain. We got a little rain up by us. And uh, it was like biking into like 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Like it was miserable. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm hurting today from uh, that uh, excessive biking and even did less of it, but it felt like it was longer because uh, it's just pedaling straight in the wind. And I pulled my kids in a cart behind. Whew, that was dragging as well. So it was uh, it's something. And that's the type of breeze we'll see uh, tomorrow, it sounds like. So be ready for that. Uh, we got a busy show for you here coming up. We'll uh, talk uh, uh, about the Amazon scam. We've heard uh, from uh, DATCP that there are uh, plenty of uh, scams going around. And one of those are the Amazon. Uh, so we're going to replay the, the talk we had with BBB, Better Business Bureau. Tiffany will be here uh, telling us about uh, one of the many scams uh, coming from uh are being used uh, through Amazon, uh, not the corporation, but uh, the thieves. We'll talk about all that coming up. Plus, we've got uh, our friend uh, from the Fitchburg Star, uh, and now I'm drawing a blank of <laughs> some friend, at Kimberly. <laughs> uh, thanks, Andrew. Uh, they had a total brain, uh, brain fart there. Uh, Kimberly is uh, going to be here with us as well. Friend of the show, can't remember her name. Uh, Kimberly will be here to give us an update. Wow, I'm off to a good start. Well, let's just get into the headlines before I uh, train wreck this whole thing. Uh, we start with this, with some great news uh, to kick off here. The path uh, is now uh, going to be open as of tomorrow. Uh, this is, uh, it says here, uh, we'll have gravel uh, pass uh, along uh, the east side of Fish Hatchery Road, connecting the Glacier Valley, uh, connecting to Glacier Valley to the overpass. So bikers, you know, there's been a detour and you haven't been able to use that overpass. So you'll be able to use that uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, just be cautious when you're uh, crossing through the construction zone there. Uh, I don't know if there'll be activity there tomorrow, but uh, this is gravel. So you want to be uh, extra careful. And users will now be able to access, again, the overpass cross over Fish Hatchery Road uh, as well. So uh, good news there. That project moved right along uh, because, well, we didn't get a lot of rain this week. So uh, that's a good thing. Speaking of uh, construction and events and biking and everything else. Uh, Kids Building Wisconsin event is coming back uh, to uh, the McKee Farms Park this year, a little bit uh, further back. I give some time, make sure that uh, things are open. And this is set uh, for September 11th. That's a Saturday. And it'll be again at McKee Farms Park. The event will run from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And uh, they are encouraging here, it says, uh, they are encouraging you to uh, register. So registering to make sure uh, uh, you register uh, for your kids. There's going to be a whole bunch, a lot of uh, fun events happening there, of course. So you can come out and uh, see that. Uh, and again, you want to uh, register uh, to get tickets for, for this event. Uh, there will be a very limited parking at McKee Farms Park as, uh, as well. So uh, be on the lookout for that. So a uh, little bit different setup this year. So I do want to make sure that you uh, have all of that. Uh, you have, you know, it's coming up and you do want to register for that event. All right, another event happening at McKee Farms Park is the concerts at McKee. This is coming back uh, this year as well, and we have the dates for you. It'll be Monday, June 21st, Monday, July 19th, and Monday, August 6th. We'll uh, give you the uh, which bands will be coming out a little bit later. Very excited for that, so hopefully you can uh, uh, come out and uh, enjoy your social distancing, your picnic, and... Just great music again, getting back to uh, some normalcy here. Uh, and uh, that's one event that I'm looking forward to. It's a very fun, uh, fun event if you haven't been out to it. Very relaxing evening, even for us who are working and uh, filming it easy night for us. We enjoy it very much. All right. The latest data is in for the snapshot here in Dane County. And it's looking pretty good, right? Uh, cases were stable during this 14-day period. Over the past four weeks, cases have decreased among ages 30 to 39 and 50 to 59 and remain uh, stable among all other age groups, including children. Nearly 60% of all Dane County residents have at least one dose of the vaccine, which is the highest in the state. Among the eligible 16-plus population in Dane County, 72% have received at least one dose. So congratulations, everybody uh, here in Dane County and Fitchburg. We appreciate uh, that you have gotten vaccinated and uh, helping uh, 
open things back up here in Dane County, which is uh, really a good thing. All right, finally, uh, talking about uh, trees and Happy Arbor Day, uh, it says here uh, from the DOT, it's a great day to get out and plant a tree in West Dot. Yeah, they plant trees. Uh, Wisconsin Department of Transportation has planted nearly 5,000 trees uh, on improvement projects along roadsides and at the rest areas over the last two years. Trees provided numerous benefits, including reduce uh, stormwater runoff and erosion, improve air quality, storm reduce carbon levels, add uh, aesthetic and wildlife value to the environment. Wisconsin DOT staff focuses on planting trees in locations safely distant from the highway and in urban communities and at rest areas where uh, there is more space for trees and lower road speeds. Learn more about uh, proper tree planting techniques from our partners at the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. They've got a brochure and everything you need to know for uh, planting trees right here in Wisconsin. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up the digest. We're going to take a look back at a piece we uh, did on the uh, uh, Amazon scams. There's a lot of Amazon scams out there. We want to keep you protected on that. We'll have break that down for you next right here on Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 